YouTube, this is DJ Pedro, 1978. We've got a review of the DeSantis Tuck This 2 uh, holster, concealed holster, for, uh, for a Glock Smith & Wesson. Um, it's listed as, as the Beretta Taurus. You can get your model. This is the container it comes in. Uh, I'm going to show you the holster in just a second. I'm going to show you where it's at, and then I'll take it off and show it to you. Um, this is what it comes with. It comes with uh, basic instructions, um, different adjustments that you can do um, on both sides. It shows you how it comes apart. There's a disclaimer stating that uh, sometimes the holster might uh, release your safety if you've got a gun with a safety. Um, it also comes with a tool. Basic. Uh, I'm not sure what what actual model, uh, what number it is but it's a basic hex tool um, that comes with it. So that way you can adjust uh, the screws. I'll show you in just a second the actual holster and what I'm talking about. Um, let me do the walk around so you can see how it looks concealed. Well, straighten up a little bit, see how you can see it. It's concealed. Okay. Uh, when you go to bend over, it, it prints just a little bit, but you can't really tell what it is. I mean, unless you're looking for it, can't see it. This is the this is where I got the location of my weapon. I'm wearing it at the three o'clock right now. Uh, I tried wearing it at the five o'clock, right above my pant pocket here. Um, it kind of dug into my hip bone, um, especially while sitting in the vehicle. Sitting in the vehicle was actually pretty comfortable because it kind of pushed the stock of the gun into that area of my back where uh, it's not up against the seat, you know, uh, flush. So it was kind of comfortable, but the uh, the clip that actually holds it and the way that the loops on the belt are, it made the pants sag down or uh, or just come out of the belt loop. It was, it was kind of annoying, to be honest with you. So I've started wearing it at the 3 o'clock position. Um, I can feel it up against my hip bone, but it's not something that uh, is that uncomfortable once you get used to it. It does bulge your pants out just a little bit. It might be a little bit harder when I'm wearing summer gear. Um, right now it's kind of chilly out, so I'm wearing the the heavier shirts, but um, it's got a clip that slides over your pants and uh, it's got a little edge to it right here um, that goes underneath your belt. Um, I've got this belt very tight right now um, to hold it right where it's supposed to be. If, if I'm wearing the belt comfortably, um, it kind of, it's kind of sloppy, but I mean, you're carrying a weapon. You don't want it. I mean, it's not supposed to be comfortable because you're protected. Well, you understand what I'm talking about. Um, let me show you pulling pulling the weapon out. It's pretty easy. Just pulls right out. Ready to go. Uh, holstering it is not as easy. You can't really slide it in too easy, I noticed. You kind of have to hold your pants at the same time as sliding it in. I mean, it's just not the, the most comfortable and easiest way to do it. As I've seen some of the crossbreed... Uh, holsters, you just click, click it out, you know, and click right back in. Yeah, M Tech's are you know kind of the same. I, I'm I'm pushing more towards the crossbreed as my own. Um, I bought this when I bought the gun. I didn't do much review, and I couldn't find a review on the Desantis Tuck Two other than uh, what seemed to be a commercial for it. Um, if you if you ever do a YouTube search on the Desantis Tuck, this the the guy's doing the video kind of looks like. He works for the company. I'm not sure, but it just felt that way, so he was kind of advertising. Um, let me pull the gun back out. By the way, I'm using a Glock 23 40 caliber. I'm going to clear the weapon, make sure it's it's uh, empty. we got a clear gun. Okay, put this out of the way. Stick this right here. Um, let's take the holster out so you can see it. The clip is nice and tight against my pants, but like I said, you're putting most of the weight on your pants. I mean, if you just notice how much extra space I had to put in there, it's it's kind of kind of awkward. Um, let me pull the chair. Up. Okay, let me show you the holster. This is the actual holster. This is the part of the holster that's gonna. Let me take the clip. Uh, excuse me, clip the magazine out. I made that mistake calling this a clip. This is not a clip. This is a magazine. Um, I saw that gentleman's video. I don't remember his name on the on the YouTube, but he said, "Hey, 
they're not clips, they're magazines. Um, let me stick that out of the way. This side is the side that sits up against your body. Um, it hasn't been, it hasn't absorbed much of the um, sweat and stuff like that because here in Florida, it uh, it does get a little hot. And I've had it on in the heat, and it uh, it hasn't done bad. It stays against your body. Um, the texture of it is just, it's it's slippery. Um, just like anything else, I mean, it's not perfect. Um, it's not rough against the body. It's nice and smooth. It's very comfortable in that aspect of it. Um, wearing it all day, I've worn it for 10 to 12 hours at, a, at one time. Um, you, it, it gets, you get sore from holding on, but like I said earlier, um, you're carrying a weapon, so it's not supposed to be for comfort. Um, show you the back end side. This is the side with the clip for your belt and on your, goes on your pants. Uh, it's very strong. In fact, it, it kind of hurts your finger to, to lift it out. It's kind of a pain to get onto your pants, which is good because it won't, doesn't easily slide off, especially with the bottom clip here. If you can see, there's a lip to it. Um, the hex tool that I showed you earlier uh, just goes right inside of here, and you can adjust it. And it, it does both directions um, almost a 90 degree. You can actually put this in the small of your back if you wanted to carry it there. Um, I like it closer to my, my reach. Um, if, if for any reason you fall on your back, you'll be falling on your, on your firearm and you can hurt yourself. Because uh, I know that if I got hit in the back with something hard, it's not going to be uh, comfy. Um, it, it's a, basically a universal holster. It's got a bunch of names on there. I'm using it obviously for my Glock. Um, the gun is clear. Slides right in. It's it's got the, you know it covers the trigger. Would I recommend it? Um, it? Depends on your body type. It's not working very well for me. Uh, like I said earlier, um, it sits the way it sits uh, in my pants. I can't really seem to get the right adjustment um, with the extra magazine inserted inside of the uh, extra holder here which is really nice because it's soft. It bends and it, and it goes into the angle. It's actually bending. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that on the video. It's bending towards the contour of my body, which, uh, which is nice. Um, this part here, actually, you don't really feel. What you're feeling is the actual um, slide is up against my, my hip bone. So it, it, it's, it's a little uncomfortable. I've tried adjusting the cant. Um, I had it at one point straight up and it was it was okay, but it, the, the stock was printing on my pant, uh, out of my shirt completely, and uh, that's obviously not, not good. Um, so I, I brought it forward just a little bit on the cant, um, which did well with covering the stock up, so it would put the stock of the gun closer to my body, so it didn't really uh, show too much. Um, this is basically a, just a review of the DeSantis Tuck II. Uh, my opinion, different body styles, there's so many different holsters out there these days that uh, you've got to try them out to see if you like it or not. Um, I, you know, you, it's not enough room in there if you've got any extras like a laser or a, or a flashlight attached to, to the rail of your gun. Like I said, it slides right in and it's pretty, pretty tight up there. It's not... It doesn't easily come out. I mean, it holds itself in there. Just needs a little, a little pull. There's nothing actually holding it. It's basically soft. It's soft, so it's nothing in there. It's hard. Um, it's, it's quality made, but uh, like I said, try it out for yourself. This is uh, the DeSantis Tuck II uh, concealed holster. Um, picked it up for uh, thirty-two dollars. I'm gonna throw it, throw it into my box of holsters that I'm now starting to collect. So uh, YouTube, if you've got any questions, uh, go ahead and comment or ask anything. I, Like I said, I wear this every day, um, 8 to 10, 8 to 12 hours sometimes. I mean, it, I can be out there all day long and I'll tell you what, what I think about this. All right. Thanks.